Welcome back to another episode of the Knowledge Bomb. My name is Nick Fowler. Today we're going to talk about the mechanics of breathing. The aerobic system is a pretty complex system. It's a lot more complicated uh, than just going out and breathing hard and hoping that you're going to improve. If you haven't already checked out uh, the video below, take five minutes. I talk a little bit about the four components around the aerobic system and go into detail a little bit about it. Today I want to talk about the mechanics of breathing. Mechanical uh, breathing is a big part of actually getting the air in. And if we are efficient at it, right, we can breathe better and thus we can perform better. And so you can just think about um, having a lot of weight on your back and how that changes your ability to breathe versus from a hanging position or inverted in a handstand. Um, all of these different positions with different loading will affect your breathing in different ways. So what I want to do is give you a couple tools that you can actually take into your training on a daily basis to improve the weakest position. So this week what I want you to do is in your warm up, pick a day, row a 1K at a 5K pace. From there you're going to go and get into a handstand hold position up against a wall for 30 seconds. During those 30 seconds, I want you to count the number of breaths that you take and also rate from a scale of 1 to 10 the quality of breathing, right? 10 being the worst, 1 being really, really easy. Go ahead and rest, uh, you know, 5 to 7 minutes, recover. Then go ahead and row a 1K at a 5K pace and hang from a pull-up bar uh, in an active position. And what I mean by an active position, it's going to be um, straight arms, but think about um, you know, uh, your lats, your scapulas, um, just your forearms are kind of tense, right? We want some tension there. And you're gonna go ahead and hang for 30 seconds and again, count the number of breaths you take during that 30 seconds and rate the quality of breathing. After you've written those two numbers down, you should be able to clearly see which position is more inefficient and which one is more efficient, right? So you wanna take that, that less efficient position for instance, if it's handstand holds, so being inverted is less efficient for you uh, than hanging. And so what you can simply do is in your warm-ups, let's just say you know two, three times a week, uh, while you're breathing and while you're going through your aerobic warm-up, go ahead and just get into that handstand position and expose yourself to that position. And you should see a change within two to four weeks uh, where that should improve, right? You can think about this as a skill, right? We want to improve that skill of breathing. You can accomplish this uh, with other positions, um, such as a barbell on your back, um, in the bottom of a squat position, whatever that may be, to uh, basically give you some more information on what positions you would benefit spending more time in, in your warm-ups. So during this assessment of your breathing, just breathe normally, right? You don't have to uh, think about it too much. Just as you get into that handstand hold or that hanging position, just think about breathing normally. Um, that 1K row should get your heart rate up, should get your breathing up, but it should be manageable in terms of the pace.